Now, use what you've learned to program your own LED light show. Here's an example with 8 LEDs. You can connect up to 14, but you might want to start with fewer than that so you make sure you have time to finish your project. Remember, use the pin mode command to set each pin with an LED as an output. Do this in the setup function. Then, in the loop function, use the digital write command to set a pin high or low. Use delay commands to make the program wait, so an LED stays on or off for a certain amount of time. If you want to change the length of a delay, you can change the number inside the delay command. For example, if I want this to be half a second instead of one second, I would change it to 500. However, if you have lots of delays in your program, then it can get annoying to have to change this number in multiple locations. To do that, it's better to use a variable. You declare a variable one time at the beginning of your program by typing int, which tells the Arduino that the variable is an integer, then the name you give a variable, here I've chosen t for time, equals and the number you want to set it to. Then you can use the variable name inside the parentheses for the delay command. This way, if you have multiple delays in your program, you don't need to change them. You just change the value of the variable at the beginning of the program. Remember that it's okay if your circuit doesn't work exactly like you want it to on the first try. Double check your wiring to make sure each LED is wired properly and double check your code to make sure you're using the correct pins that you have the LEDs connected to. When you're all done with your light show, show it off to your teachers and your classmates.